Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and in this video, we are going to break down the Sadishi Chicane one-piece suit available at RevZilla.com. The Chicane is going to be the entry-level suit from Sadishi. This is going to come in around the $500 price point, and we're going to break down all the features that you're going to get with this. If you wanted to take a step up, you would take a look at the Sadishi Corsa. Both are new for 2021, and we'll talk a little bit about how this one compares with the Corsa within this video. But really keep in mind that Sadishi is going to be an exclusive brand here to Revzilla, and we're gonna start off with sizing. So the biggest difference between the Chicane and the Corsa is going to be the fitment. The Corsa is more of that traditional aggressive European fit, whereas the Chicane has a bit more of a relaxed American style. Mr. McHugh is going to be my model for this one. He stands at six foot tall. He weighs in at 220 pounds, has a 44 inch chest, and he is currently wearing a size 54. This is gonna be exactly what he wears pretty much across the board in race suits, so he had no surprises. A little bit more room in the chest, a little bit more room throughout the entire body, and a little bit more room in the legs as you work your way down as compared to the Corsa. He can stand upright. It's not really that tucked down traditional race fit, so this is gonna be something more comfortable if you like to wear your race suit out for just an aggressive day on the street. And some of the features you're gonna see, like pops are reflective, there's a pocket on the inside for your wallet or your cell phone, do reflect the intention that a lot of people have when looking for a Sadishi suit. Now sizes will range from a 48 up to 60. Use Sadishi's size chart and you should have no surprises there. Starting at the top and working our way down, you are going to see that this is full grain leather construction. Not as much perforation as this as there is with the Corsa. So if you typically run hot and you want maximum perforation, that's where you probably consider bumping up to the Corsa as well. Now, with the protection on this, same impact protection, C level two protection at the elbows and the shoulders. Shoulder is gonna retain that same level of TPU exterior slider on this. Now, Mr. McHugh holds his arm up. You will notice that there is gonna be a slider on the elbow, but it's not replaceable. If you bump to the Corsa, that's where you get the replaceable slider. The Chicane is gonna have a TPU slider, but it's just going to be that hard part that's not gonna be a replaceable piece. So if you're constantly dragging your elbows, might not work for you, but for the rest of us, uh, this is extremely uh, nice protection and the extra pop there on top of that CE level two protection on the elbow. You're gonna notice a little bit of TPR here. This is carried over from what we saw with the Corsa and it's just that extra layer of stitching protection. Four-way stretch working down the arm. Now you're not gonna see that four-way stretch go up across the chest. So that's one of the, the, the cost-saving measures that they did when they created the chicane was they eliminated that four-way stretch going all the way up the way that it does with the Corsa. And then working down, you know, very clean, similar lines. Again, the main thing that we talked about is you're not going to have that perforation. You're still going to have the zip entry and the, uh, the liner is still going to be a removable liner. So you can go ahead and you can pull that liner out and you can wash it if it starts to get funky. And Mr. McHugh knows about sweating and getting funky. Sir, go ahead and face sideways for me. Accordion stretch down the back of the shoulders on this, really comfortable in the full tuck position. You're not gonna see that four-way stretch connect down to the yoke. That's, again, another feature that you get when you bump to the Corsa, but still, an awesome amount of accordion stretch and flex through the back of the shoulders. You can see accordion stretch at the back of the, uh, the elbow here, and then you get a really nice shot of that elbow slider. McHugh, go ahead and face backwards for me. So one of the things that I do like, and just strike down the riding position a little bit for me, uh, that accordion stretch works all the way at the back of the yoke, but all the way around to almost the middle of the belly. So a lot of accordion stretch, they're giving you a really great range of motion, regardless of whether you're sitting upright or you're in that aggressive full tuck. Uh, you can go ahead and stand up naturally for me. So this is going to accommodate a back protector. So just keep that in mind. You want to add, as with any race suit, a full on standalone back protector. You can also fit an airbag uh, in this as well, very easily. A lot of extra room to accommodate that. You notice the back on this, a little bit of neoprene at the top of the collar, but not that massive amount of neoprene that you get with the, uh, with the Corsa. Instead, you have a little bit of a perforated mesh at the top here. There's not gonna be a hydration pack in the speed hump. It is just a regular old speed hump. Now let's go a little bit south of the border, if you will, talking about Pat's butt. Actually, we're talking about the Sidishi's butt on this. You get reinforcement at the seat, and then you will notice four-way stretch at the back of the calves. You'll also notice you're gonna have those expansion zippers at the calf as well. Pat, I would say, has some meaty calves on him, but even with those meatier calves that he does have, he doesn't have to use those expansion uh, gussets. So just a note there in the fact that like this really is gonna be a suit for those of you out there that have trouble finding a race suit that fits comfortably because you're larger in the thighs or the calves. There's a lot of extra room to play with here, which 
For us larger riders, that is something that we can all appreciate. Mr. McHugh, go ahead and face forward for me. And again, you're going to see that four-way stretch considering, or con <laughs> you're going to see that four-way stretch continuing is the word I'm looking for, down the inside of the crotch, down the inside of the leg, accordion stretch at the top of the knee. You are going to have the replaceable knee sliders down there, as well as C level two protection at the knees, which I mentioned earlier. So all things considered, an amazing suit from Sadishi considering the $500 price point. This is going to be an excellent beginner option, as well as for those of you out there that are just looking for a more relaxed fit. If you want something more aggressive with a few extra features, you can bump to the Corsa. But really for that $500 price point, you're getting an awesome suit to either get you to your first track day or to wear on your more aggressive rides. Now, if you want more information from folks that are already using a Sidishi suit, you can click that little info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews. And if you're not sure as to which suit is right for you and your riding style, give one of our gear geeks a shout, 877-792-9455, or shoot over an email to cs at ripzilla.com, and they can walk you through all the different suits available to find the one that matches up with your price point and riding style. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Sadishi Chicane one-piece riding suit. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.